Right now, who's the best team in the American League? <laughs> I mean, it, it, in, my, true. In, my, in my opinion, I think it's got to be the New York Yankees. Your check's still going to clear. It's okay. I know, I know. <laughs> and, and I know I'm a homer, but I'm going to give you a lot of reasons why. Okay? Uh, I like that. I like right? that. Here it is. We bring, uh, hey, the Yankees bring over Adam Ottavino, right? Only helps Nasty. bolster the back end of that bullpen. You've got each individual slot from one through nine has the ability to leave the ballpark at any time. Right. right. I tell you the one thing, the two things the Yankees are going to do this year, they're going to be dominant in the back end of the bullpen, so you better score early. Right. And number two, they're going to hit a whole heap of home runs. I'm not sure how much that's going to pay off in the playoffs, but I think with where the Yankees are, guys, you got to remember, it's been 10 years since they've won in the Bronx, and they're starting to get a little chatter. Right. New York can get a little antsy from time to time, and I think with the team that they have put out on the field this year, they feel that they have a chance to win the World Series. I like the Houston Astros. I, I, I love their lineup top to bottom. They make you work as a pitcher. They don't give any bats away. They have speed. They have power. I love their front line of their rotation, which I think they have an edge on, especially with right. Severino being down course, in New York. Right but then they have the back bullpen help that guys that they trust, Rendon, Ozuna, guys that have been there before. So they're the most complete team. And obviously, they've been there. They've been competitive. Right. And they know that they're the top dog. And they're already calling people out in Boston <laughs> yeah, right. already that they know the matchup. So, and they well, have a, supposed to win the MVP. They have potentially year. three MVP candidates in the middle of that lineup over there. So for me right now, I think H-Town is rocking right now in a good way. Well, what we didn't mention is the defending world champs. You guys know how hard it is to repeat. And, and we saw that with the Astros last year. Right. Injuries, just, just everything happens. Everything's gunning for you. But I'm curious what you think, Train, of, you know, them. Look, we know their core talent is phenomenal. Absolutely. But they lost Kimbrell and they lost Kelly. That was A and 1A in the back I, of their bullpen. I think that's a mistake. I think that's the one mistake. They should have got some more Dunkin' Donut money and got it to those two guys because you cannot replace those intangibles. Kelly's a guy that can get six to nine outs whenever you need him to be, and Kimbrell's been lights out for, since he's been in the big league. So that's a weapon that you need, and you can't disallow to walk away. Now they're going to have bullpen by committee. Let's see in the tight ball games if they're able to be successful going down there, especially it's going to be a race between them and the Yankees for the top dog in the division. But I, I think it's a mistake to let those two guys go. Well, let's not sleep on that lineup. They got to yeah, they're, guys they're like monsters. Yeah, Getz, absolutely, they're monsters. J.D. Martinez, I mean, Andrew Benintendi, Xander Bogart. Right. I mean, the list goes on and on. Dustin Pedroia is back. He's healthy again. Hey, and, and when you have a leader like that, right. he knows what it's like to win. And that team, talent-wise, I mean, those three teams, any one of those guys have a shot to make it to the World Series this year. Right.